pretty much I decided for my 50th video I was, was going to be something epic and exciting and pretty much something enjoyable. I got two out of three. So I'm hoping maybe this will be something good. Other times, I'm hoping it's a... Yeah, can't talk. Point is, here's something for you to enjoy for my 50th video. No, you are not seeing things. What you have seen before you is four. Count them. Four vintage fans. Some of which, in fact, you have not seen either of these. Hoping maybe you can... Well, you have not, you have not seen these fans before, and uh, you'll probably be seeing more of them as the time goes. So, I will show off each one, and we'll have a little symphony later. First one we have here is this little 10-inch GE, I think it might be a quiet fan. It's not a Vortilex. That, uh, I think it dates to like maybe 1949-1950. Anybody out there, you'll probably correct me, and uh, it's appreciated. I bought this summer of 2006 at a flea market for $5. I mean, it really wasn't anything I was looking for, but uh, it's vintage, and why not? It's vintage -y. And, uh, take a look at that. And uh, this did get old. In fact, the last time this was used heavy du in heavy duty was like uh, the heat wave of 07. Yes, we had like two months of heat wave. In fact, it was a massive... Heat yeah, I can't... Stop. Why can't I talk? Point is, it was like two months of like uh, at least 90 degree weather, no rain, and there was like a week or so where we hit the century mark. And this thing kept going. So, and however... Well, and however, when I bought it, in fact, you'll see that there's a switch plug there, because I'll show you that in a minute. So, let's turn on. And it's really quiet. I can't oil, I can't, I'm trying to get it oiled, but uh, these things are hard to take apart. But uh, about the switch plug, if you notice, The switch does not work. And I was hoping I could get this apart to thoroughly clean it and oil it and shit. And replace that switch. But for now, it's fine as it is. I might decide to use it, I don't know. I do need to rotate some fans out for the summer. Turn them off. Alright. This one here, we got like an early to mid 50s Dominion, and uh, I'll write down the model numbers in the uh, description when I get this uploaded. I got this off of eBay about a year or so ago, with the help of younger brother Robert, or Degeneration, or Degeneration X on YouTube. Uh, I forget how much I paid for it, but this didn't get used a whole lot, but like I said, it might get replaced, and well, it might replace something. And this is a one speed as well. So I always seem to plan on filming this on when it's a little bit of a breeze. But yeah, this also does put out a lot of air. It does rattle a bit. But it's not anything too terribly noticeable. Okay. Turn that off. Look at the spin down time. Alright, cool. This one here. Another eBay item I got like uh, about a year or two ago can't remember. Also, with the help of, De of uh, Degeneration X and stuff. Uh, this uh, early 60s Montgomery Ward 10-inch fan by Nat Monarch. In fact, I'll show you the fact that uh, it does have that uh, same styling as my Sears. And uh, when I commented about the wizard, about how I had that Montgomery Ward's font, yeah, the MW, which I actually like, and this, too, this is also a one speed, so it does rattle as well.
That little rattling at startup is because the button is a little loose. But this one, it got used. Also not a whole hell of a lot, but I like it nonetheless. Yeah. Sometime today. All right, cool. Now we got this one. My 60s model General Electric 20 inch box fan. I'm pretty sure this might be a model of W25 because it looks strikingly similar to the one that Spats Bear has in the box. I apologize if I screwed that up. But uh, I saw this and uh, I figured why not pick it up. Because it definitely has that st certain style to it. And uh, I am actually kind of biased to the older box fans with the five fat plastic blades. Because it just, it just has that style to it. It's not exactly uh, first gen P223 or S223, but uh, it's about as close as thing I can get. And this wasn't really high on my want list. This is actually, this was actually number four on my would like list. I mean, I still would like to have a 223 first gen, either P, S, or K, but uh, that's actually number two on my want list. I'll explain about the number one on my want list later. So, as soon as this breeze stops blowing, because I don't want to have to turn it on and jerk the motor, because that could be bad news. Okay. So, since we got time, we'll get it started. Here's how I... It does vibrate a little bit, but uh, I think it just adds to the character. Medium. I kind of did it backwards, but you no. Know, I bought it. It's my fan. Do whatever I want, yo. Finally. And I did get this yesterday, and uh, I did use it, and it actually it worked very well. I might have to put some oil in it, but uh, if I can, well, I'll try. And oh. those were my neighbors yelling, so it's all right. Yep. Da, 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 da. Well, that's it for that one. And without the breeze, but when you when you're trying to film things, you do you work with it as is. So here's to another 50 videos. Cheers. Oh, that's good. <laughs>